Hello? I'm going to try to pick the Rosengrenz 32A 81S, which is a very hard lock to pick. Disc detainers, and I will show you how it works after I pick. First disc set for now. Second disc, I think. Was that six? I'm not sure. Could have been seven as well. But I got a bigger full set, so now I'm going to check disc, the, the discs in the front, because sometimes they slip out of their gate, I've learned. Looks like they are still good. This is the first time I open this lock. Whew. It's so tight in there, so narrow. It uh, took me a couple of tries and fine tuning my pick before I got the feeling for it. I'm so glad this is open now. Very nice. Okay. Now let's show you the key is working. Cool key. Look at this. There you go. And let's got this thing. Which is quite annoying. But you'll see. You'll see. Keep in frame. I'll just put this here. Just want to change the angle. Ah, angle of the camera. There we go. Um, like I said, this is a Swedish safe deposit box lock um, very nice I, I really like the way it looks it is a disc detainer lock and it is possible to make a two-in-one for it 
there are videos uh, of people picking this with the two-in-one. I think Idanuya did it, um, but um, well, I'm not that good of a tool maker, and I saw Locknoop picking this with. Uh, a normal tensioner and a bent wire like this it is shaped a bit I used 1.2 millimeter wire and um, as you can see I flattened the surface that makes contact with the discs this has to be quite thin because you have to Put your um, pick behind a little, tiny, tiny notch to turn the discs, and I will show you uh, once I've got at this. I don't have a disc retainer tray yet, so I'll just use the bottom of this one. Um, there's a, some kind of spring that keeps everything in place they can just put a screwdriver underneath that Oops. and normally that would come out there you go I'll put that right there then ah it's the first Monday of the month 12 o'clock it's noon and then in the Netherlands the uh, alarms, uh, the emergency alarms are uh, tested. Okay, after the spring there's a ring like this, I'll put that there. And then we get to the actual look part here you can see the sidebar there are th these two bars are very annoying because they uh, limit the movement uh, the, the, the amount of room you have those alarms are very distracting to me at least uh, let's have a closer look at these bars and you see the discs are stepped and when you tension the lock I'll do it with the pick right now you can see like this um, this bar gets a bit in the way because when you you turn the discs from uh, like this. You have to get your pick in between and get behind that notch, and then you can turn the lever. So that makes this very hard. Besides that, the discs are very thin, and so are the spacers. Let's get things out. All right, first disc, I think. No, first the spacer. I'm going to work like this. I've messed up the disc order once, and it was a pain to get everything back in the right order that's the first disc and here you can see it has two false gates and a true gate all discs have two false gates and one true gate only the order is different
Well, let's get the sidebar out. It, doesn't, it isn't needed right now. It's just like this. Very square. And when you get in the fast gates, it grips very hard. So you have to counter rotate. And sometimes when you do that, these bars turn and then you push something out of its gate. So especially with the discs that have to turn far, you have to check them once and again if they're still in position. Have we uh, got out now? One, two, three, four, five. There are eight discs in total. Come on, work with me now. Well, it doesn't want to. There we go. Spacer. Disk six. Another spacer. Disk seven. Getting close now. Spacer and the last disc, disc eight. And then um, we can take this out. There's a disc on there as well. All right, let's take a look at the housing. Very nice for a small look like this. It's uh, it's amazing how hard it is to pick all the discs. Let's show you one. Well, if you look at this, here you can see it also has. Oh wait, it only has two gates: one true gate and then a false gate. Um, you can see some damage from my picking wire and these things are very slim very thin let's show you something with that like this this one you can see the deep through gate and the two shallower false gates and when you look at the sidebar that's fits right in here and here and it grips really well very hard well that was the Rosengrenz 32A 81S and let's appreciate the keys one more time they look so simple do not underestimate this look. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.